Hey friends, we are back with an organizational video today. I've been going a little crazy not being well organized and that's kind of the name of the game for me anyway, but I really wanna be better at it. So I decided that the very first thing I see on my computer, my desktop, is the thing that needs to be organized first. Sometimes it's the littlest things that make the biggest difference in keeping our organization and our focus when we're jumping on our computer to get work done. And if you're anything like me, you need all the help you can get. I used Canva to create a customized desktop that basically had all the sections that I felt I needed. You can customize yours however you want, but we're gonna jump over to Canva and get started so that you guys get an idea of how to do this yourselves. The first thing we wanna do is just head over to search. Depending on what device you're using, you can put iPad wallpaper, iPhone wallpaper, etc. I'm just going to type in desktop, wallpaper and that's going to navigate us to all the different types of templates that are sized pretty well if not perfectly for a desktop wallpaper i always like to start off with templates i think it's just a personal preference when i see a blank page sometimes that's like really daunting and so i like to look through templates if i don't have a specific plan yet and i decide what type of color scheme or composition I like in a template and then I will basically change the entire thing anyways but starting with the template somehow gets the ideas and juices flowing. So while I like all of these I want one that's got a little more structure something that's more for an organiza organized desktop. Now you can obviously add these in from scratch if you really liked a background for instance if you liked this daisy type one you could add in the sections that I have like the apps and the work business goals etc but for me I personally just started off with one that was already capable of having those sections you can see we have this pink aesthetic here this is really cute and it's basically already broken down into these different sections so once I did that, you can see these other ones that pop up, and this is actually the one that I started off with. So you can see how mine is still fairly similar, but I've taken some things off and added some things in and changed it up. For instance, getting rid of this calendar, adding in my images, taking off the little, some of these little images I took off, and then renaming some sections, changing the quote things like that. So you really can just make it your own. For this example, I wanna choose something a little different. So we're gonna go with a darker background. So I'm gonna go with this one here. This looks kind of fun and it's different than the one that I did, but I do love that when you click one, it will give you ones that are recommended that are similar to what you're looking for, just making it easier to search. So I'm gonna click customize this template here and it's going to bring it up. So I always say let's rename the file because I am terrible about not doing that. So we are going to name this blue desktop wallpaper. And then I'm going to go ahead and just start adjusting things to like how I would have wanted it. All right, so I like the darker background and I like the space look, but I want something that looks a little bit more like a galaxy. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete this out and just by selecting it and deleting it, now it's gone. So I'm gonna head over to elements and then just search for a galaxy. I'm gonna go with photos because I want an actual photo, not just an element. And I like this one right here. Yeah, I like that one way better. So I'm just gonna stretch it out, make it the size that I want, and then I will right click and layer, send it to the back. Okay, so perfect, but I do want some more blue in this. So I think I'm actually going to choose elements this time or graphics, excuse me, and I'm going to find some blue. There's one right here. I'm gonna put that kind of right there. Go over to position to open up that layers panel. I'm just going to keep moving this down to where I want it. Each one of these is one of those squares that is on here. So I'm going to just keep going until it's just above the background. Perfect, so that's exactly where I was hoping it would be. I think I like that a lot better. So let's just go like this and then maybe stretch it out a bit more. Just gives it, I don't know, a bit a bit more color and I think I'm going to add a little bit of like a pinky purple on the other side and I think we'll stretch it out a bit and then we're just going to do that same thing in the position and then the layers panel over here and we're just going to drop that back down in roughly the same position as the last one. Okay, so now I'm getting a better feel of what I'm looking for. What I'm noticing next is the things that I don't like as in like the extra elements that I don't love. So 
I'm going to take off these elements here because if I do put my files there, I don't need the elements. Like my files themselves will be there. So I'm gonna take these off and then I'm going to take this off because I just don't like it. I like the idea of them putting it there. It kind of gives me an idea of maybe putting like a widget or something right there. Um, but for the actual like template usability, I'm not a fan. So I'm gonna move that. And I don't think I'm even gonna want this one. Reminders, I don't think I will love that. But for now, we'll leave it and then I'm just gonna stretch this out. I think I might actually switch this over to goals. And then I'm going to take out the date. Again, this would be a good place for a widget. I think that's mainly what they're trying to go for here is to show you where you could put a widget to put it all together. So I'm going to take those out. All right, so I'm going to get rid of this one here and that one as just a frame for now. And then I don't love the opacity on this, so I'm going to adjust that as well. So I'm gonna select this one and this one here so that I can do them both at the same time so that they match. Click on the transparency and you can see that it's at 80%. So I'm bumping it up all the way to 100 because I don't want it to be transparent at all. And then I'm going to choose a color that matches the theme better than this white. I'm gonna click on the white here and I'm gonna find something within the imagery. So as you can see, Canva automatically pulls the colors from the images that you've used in your design. So that's super helpful. I'm going to see what it looks like to choose a purple. And I don't love that. Let's see if I like any of those. I kind of like this one here. We're just gonna go through and see if any of these give me kind of the vibe that I would like. I actually really like this deeper color here and then I will just adjust the other colors. So I'm gonna make this a bit larger. All right, so gonna leave those that way and then change the color of these. I'm gonna hold shift key down and select each one so that I can change the color of all of them at once. And I'm gonna go through that same routine, just see which one I think the color works best with. I really love that, but I feel like it might be a little too bold, but I have a plan here. Okay, I really like this. So I wonder, let's see what it will look like if we adjust the opacity down. All right, those are all still selected. So we're gonna lower down the opacity. We can get a color that I prefer. Don't wanna be too light. Okay, I think I'm liking this one a lot now. So I don't like the text anymore. I'm just selecting each text box by holding the shift key down again. And we're gonna go and choose a font that's just more my style or what I'm looking for. Don't love that one. I don't know. I'm not really even sure what I'm looking for. So many good fonts. And I actually just uploaded a bunch of new fonts in here as well. I think I like this one. It's just kind of seems a bit more playful. So we're gonna choose that. All right, so we are getting somewhere. So instead of a to-do list, I'm going to put but don't forget because my to-do list changes too often, but it's important for me to not forget to do certain things before I log off. So I'm gonna put don't forget and then make the text a bit larger. There we go, that's fun. And then we will have this section for apps, but I want apps to be in a larger square. So I'm gonna kind of trade that out there because I have a good amount of apps. There we go. And I'm going to select this section and just pull it down. I see that it pulled my, I accidentally grabbed this one and I didn't want to. So grab that and put that right up there. I'm going to make this larger actually. I'm gonna grab this one and it too is going to grab that one. So just hold shift key and clicking it. We'll put it where I want it and then I can make this larger. There we go. And then I believe what I'm gonna do, yeah, I'm going to shrink this down a bit because I do want to see that background, but you know, the, the goal here is that it looks cool, but it's also functional. So I want to make sure that I'm seeing enough of everything. All right, and then let's see, do I like it like this? I think I do like it a little bit off there. There we go. That's kind of cute. I kind of like it. And I'm going to go find a quote that's going to look perfectly in here. So let's just find a quote. And I'm going to click on photos so I can try to find a photo with the quote in it. And then I'm going to stick it into this frame. Make today great, work hard, dream big. Let's see what that one looks like in there. I don't love the color of it. I could adjust that, but let me just make sure that there's not anything else that I would like to 
put in there. Think about things differently. That's kind of a cool one. I like that. That's good. Kind of gives me that vibe of like think outside the box. And that's always good when you're a designer. Um, I'm realizing I don't like the outline picture of it or color of this one. So I'm going to switch that. There we go. I like that. Kind of emphasizes it a lot more. I kind of want these to glow a little bit, so I'm going to go and grab a glow. Now this is something that a lot of people do not use. What they, what we tend to do is we want to add it like we would in, um, like for instance, if it's an element, you can't always add the different like photo effects. Whereas if it's a photo, you can add those photo effects like a drop shadow or a glow, things like that. But what you can do is you can search elements for those types of elements and that makes a huge difference. So if you need a shadow or a glow of some sort, you can search that in the elements and find what you're looking for. So I'm going to look up a rectangle glow and then we'll click graphics. And then as you can see, there's all these different options for us to choose from with these different glows on them. So we could choose something like this one, okay? And we can make sure it is sized well and flip that around. And if we just kind of line it up a bit, there we go, make it a little bit bigger. And you'll see what happens in just a second. There we go. Okay, and then we go to position, go back to our layers panel because that's the easiest way to navigate. And we're gonna put that back behind this one here. There we go. So now when we adjust it, we can adjust it to where we just get that slight glow that we are wanting to give it just a little bit more fun depth and it just, it just adds something. And you can find glows that are different colors, um, all, all sorts of different things. Um, there's a lot of different glowing or shadow type images that you can find in, or elements that you can find in the, in the graphic section. Okay, so I have that one. And if it's too bright, again, you can go over to transparency and lower that down a bit. If you're just wanting just the hint of a glow, you know, keep it like right there. If you want it to be really bold, keep it up higher. I want probably about 77 looks good to me. So I'm gonna actually grab this one here. It's a little bit larger. and I'm gonna put that back behind this other one. All right, and that should give me a bit of a glow that I am looking for. So let's again, layers panel and move it where we would like it. And we're gonna put it right behind that one. Awesome. And then now that it's back there, we can kind of move it around where we are wanting it. Like, do you want it up high? Do you want it a little bit lower? Like I do want it a little bit lower to pop there. And then I'm gonna break this down to 77 again. There we go. Now let's add a few little fun uh, sticker type items. Oh, real quick, as you can see, when I put that back behind uh, this element here, I didn't put it back behind this element here. So I'm going to wanna fix that right quick. So selecting that layers panel, and then yeah, you can see that it's just above that. So there we go. Okay, that kind of just gives us a little bit more of um, a pop, I guess. We're going to do some sort of a space. And I'll just grab some sort of graphic that we think might look cool or cute or whatever we're wanting. We could get really playful and fun and grab like a little alien guy and we could put him like right here. I like him, he's really cute. Um, we can, we can make it like maybe a little bit more of an interactive situation where, instead, you know, I have, don't forget right here. We could have maybe like a little astronaut guy and he could be pointing so we could shrink him down and then we could put him right here, you know, making it a little bit more playful and fun, whatever you are wanting to look for. You might want it to be more aesthetic or you might want it to look more professional. Now that I have my little elements and it's seeming to kind of come together, I'm going to add just a few little text things so you can get an idea of what it would look like when it is completed. So my favorite way to do text, especially if I'm keeping the same font, but my favorite way to do text is instead of going over here and grabbing another heading or, or adding a text box, I'll usually just select it, hold down the Alt key and then drag it. And that just gives us a really quick copy and paste moment. Then to reformat it in for like a list, I would go up here 
to alignment, select this one to put it all the way to the left hand side. And then I would do bullet points right here. So you could choose to either do just regular bullets or you could choose to do the one, two, threes. I'm gonna do bullets. I just prefer them that way. And I'm going to go ahead and shrink these down a bit because I might have a few different, don't forget. <laughs> um, so I think I'm actually going to keep the same font but just make it to where it's lowercase and uppercase. And I'm going to adjust the size just a little bit again. Move it over a bit. And now we can just kind of start typing. I'll say, what do I not want to forget? Um, checking work email. Okay. Um, Slack. It's important that I go in there and I check on Slack. Um, Google Analytics. I like to see what videos are performing well, what ones you guys liked and what ones you didn't. And sometimes I forget to even check in on that. Um, read comments, uh, respond to comments, design messages. So I sell on a few different platforms and it's important that I check and make sure I don't have any types of messages like on my Etsy shop or any of the others to see if I have to answer to any customers. And then my Google tasks. So I have a Google tasks list that I do actually have on my phone really easily that I can look at, but it's important that I can go in here and I can just check it just before I log off to make sure I don't have to do anything else. So I think those are good. I'm going to make this a little bit bigger just so it looks better. And I'm going to click off and then just move it. And I can always adjust this and change it if I wanted to. So I'm gonna go ahead and make this larger. I think I'll go in and make a little font effect on this one at least. Let's change that to black and change the offset to be a bit more, yeah. I like that. So now we have a nice don't forget section. And then what I would do is I would just adjust the whole thing exactly how I wanted. And then from here, what we would do is we would, after we get it exactly how we like it, we just go up to share, download. It doesn't matter if it's a PNG or a JPEG. So I usually just leave it as that. It has 1920 by 1080. That should work for my desktop, but we'll see you here in a moment. And then I'm just going to download. Once it's downloaded, we are just going to grab that and I'm going to right click and set as desktop background. Now this might be different if you are on a Mac or iPad, etc. but I am on a Windows desktop. So that is how it is done on mine. All right, and then here is our desktop background. So as you can see, I would then choose to move my files over to here and that would make it to where I was using my desktop just the way that I want. You can of course adjust the sizing or anything that you need to in the beginning or at the end, however you want to do it. But it's just a fun and great way to get you guys organized. I am really enjoying it with mine, so I wanted to make sure that I shared that with you in case you guys wanted to give it a try. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video today. If you did, make sure to give it a big thumbs up as it's super helpful for the YouTube algorithm. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell notification so that you get notified every single time I post a video. If you're interested in more Canva videos, make sure that you watch this video next. And don't forget to design a life you love. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.